Hi everyone, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. So today I went to the outlets with my mom and I just kind of wanted to sit down and show you what I got. Um, I find this very exciting because it's been a while since I've been to the outlets. Um, I think since last November. So I did pick up a couple of stuff. And I'm just gonna show you real fast. So first I'm gonna start start with Gap. Now I do have a Gap credit card and I love it because I can use it at Gap, Gap Factory, Athleta, Old Navy, and Banana Republic. I mainly just shop at Gap and um, Old Navy, but let me show you what I got. So I got four t-shirts. I got a maroon, white, green and black and i love this material it's like a knit it's it's not i think it's like a knitted material and i love it because it's super warm and it lasts a long time i have actually this green one um that i bought about four or five years ago and it's still going good but i'm ready to retire it so that's why i bought a bunch of new colors um, after washing these years and years, I feel like the first two to three years, it still looks really good. But, you know, after um, four or five years, it starts wearing down. But I bought a bunch of these. They were like $10 a piece. So I thought, that's a really good deal. My next item I got is a pair of slacks. So it's just gray. Um, they're this they're skinny ankle, that's what they say. They're gray, I feel like it's a great basic. Um, if you watch my Nordstrom's anniversary video, um, I'll link it in the cards. Um, I did get a blazer, and I feel like that would look really good for this, especially um, if I go inside the office. So I currently work remotely, but um, I'm visiting family, and so the company I work for is based in the same state. And so once a week I go into the office and if for some reason one day it's a dress up day, we have to wear slacks, a nice pair of shoes, a blazer, stuff like that, I have an outfit. And because I do work remotely, I got rid of all of my slacks, especially, um, you know, from when I had my baby, cause I did lose a ton of weight. So I lost weight after my baby. So I lost a ton of weight, I got rid of all my slacks, COVID happened, I moved everything. So I always say keep slacks in your closet because you never know when you're gonna have to pull them out. Um, let's say you have to go to your funeral or something, you know, it's always good to have a pair. All right, let me show you what I got from Eddie Bauer. I'm very excited about this one. So here's the bag. All right, first things first, I got my husband a flannel. This is actually pretty thick, I love it. It's not quite a shacket, but I feel like it would do the job. I love the color scheme of this. Um, I know a lot of flannels, you do the red, you do the black, or they have these bright colors. I just like the plain ones, and I feel like he'd get a lot of use out of this one. Next, I have a pair of jogger pants these are light very lightweight hiking pants and i absolutely love them i got these on sale i think they were like 20 bucks now i normally shop from eddie bauer or i go to columbia but i finally reached guide status um it's just part of the point system so i'm very happy happy about that these next pair of pants, I have a pair of them, but they're in capri form, so I actually bought the pant form in the same color. I absolutely love them. Super light, and they're really warm. Um, I actually have them downstairs, and I just love wearing them. I feel like they're a good pant, especially if you go hiking, or if you go camping, or even if you're just like, lounging around the house. You don't want to wear pajama pants, but you also don't want to wear jeans. And let's say all your leggings or all your workout pants are in the wash. I feel like these are a good alternative. All right, let me show you what else I got. This is one of my most favorite items. 
I got a pack away backpack. Now I love these because I keep these in my car. I have a pack away duffel bag and I also have a tote bag from Victoria's Secret that you can fold up. It is reusable. I keep these in my car because especially when you're traveling, like you're doing a road trip, you never know if you're going to need an extra bag. I always put one of these, whether it's a duffel bag, a tote, or now this one, in my luggage when I go and travel because you never know when you need an extra bag, whether that's going through the airport or if that's like if you go hiking or you're, you're going out in the city for a long period of time and you have a little purse, but that's not going to do justice. It's always good to have one of these in here. Now, let me open it up for you so I can just show you how it looks. This is a 20 liter backpack. Um, it was originally $30, but I paid $15. So I feel like I did a really good job. Okay, so you just pull it out like this, if I can get it. Sometimes they pack these really deep and it can be kind of tricky pulling them out, but it's totally worth it. Okay, so here it is. And then you just tuck this little part in right here. And here's your backpack. Now, the back has this netting material. I am bummed out that the straps are not more padded, but it is a packable backpack. So just keep that in mind. If you do have a lot of stuff in it, it is gonna weigh down on your shoulders. But this is what it looks like. So let's start from the top. You have this one compartment right here, and it goes all the way down. So my hand is right, the tip of my finger is right here, my hand's right here. I feel like that's a really good size for a stowaway backpack. And then you have some bungee ties right here. So if you want to tie a bungee, and so I do have bungee clips when I go hiking, because if I wear a jacket and I want to take it off, I'll just like put it inside there with my bungees. Here is a little pocket. I feel like it's big enough for your cell phone or for a wallet. It's not very big, but I feel like it will fit like the bare necessities or even if you have like a tissue pack. Next, let's get into the main compartment. Look at this. You have, I just dropped it. You have this right here, it's like a pocket. Um, you can put a jacket, it goes all the way down to the bottom right here. So this would be perfect if you had to pack your laptop. I love it. And then, let me just show you. This is the inside, basic inside. Um, like I said, it is a little flimsy because it is packable, but I feel like as a last minute bag, in case you need one it does a justice and um i love the color oh and let me show you it has two bottle pockets i don't know a lot of people um i notice when they go to outdoorsy um shops they kind of ignore the packable bags but i like buying them just like i said you put them in the car you have them just in case you need them um, especially if you go hiking, camping, like I said, put it in your suitcase. Even if you're going on a business trip, it never hurts to have an extra duffel bag, backpack, tote, anything packable. I would definitely get it. Um, anything that I post in this video, I will link it back down below so you guys can go shopping too. All right. Next, what I'm going to show you is from Vera Bradley. Since we're on the topic of bags. All right, so here's the bag. I love how it's pink, and I love how Vera Bradley gives you a re reusable tote, so I can go shopping with this and everything like that. Vera Bradley is having a huge clearance sale. I got this big duffel bag. I don't even know the size of it, but like this is what it looks like. Super huge. Um, there are no compartments in it. It's just like one empty hole, but guys, I got this for $20, $20 for this. And um, it's the large travel duffel and it was originally $109 and I got it for 20 bucks. I feel like that's pretty good. You also have side pockets right here. 
if you have a Vera Bradley outlet near you, I would definitely go check them out because they're having a huge sale. So I ended up getting this 70% um, off and then they took an additional 20% off. So I felt like I got a steal on this. $20. You can't, you can't argue with that. $20. Bucks. All right, next, Levi's. I haven't bought a pair of Levi's in forever, so this is the bag. I think the last time I wore Levi's was when my mom used to buy me clothes in high school. <laughs> That's how long it's been. And I didn't know what um what kind of fit I wanted, so I just kind of guessed. So I ended up, it took me forever to find my size. So I'm a 28 short, because I'm 4'10". And um, I found 29s, I found 27s, but I couldn't find a 28. Finally, I found a size 28 short. Let me know what you guys think about Levi jeans. Um, I know growing up, I want to say they used to be really prestigious. Like a lot of people, um, it was like a desired jean. I don't know about nowadays because you can buy them on Amazon and you can get them at some like outlets like TJ Maxx. I've seen them at TJ Maxx and um, Marshalls. Um, and like I said, I've seen them on Amazon. But I don't know if they did a rebrand or if people are still really liking Levi jeans. But I'm really excited about these. I did get the Shaping Skinny Fit. I normally buy um, straight jeans. I haven't bought skinny jeans since college. But hopefully, I really like these. Um, they did have like the basic OG mom jeans, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. So, I'm really happy. I'll let you know how those fit. Um, the only pair of jeans I really have are here at my parents' house are my Wit and Wisdom from Nordstrom's. I got from the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. But, um, yeah, I'm really happy I bought another pair of jeans. Next. Ralph Lauren. It's been a while since I've shopped there, but I'm really excited. Okay, so let me pull out the first group of items. Everything here is for my son. Um, I do have a t-shirt I bought him. Um, I'll post a picture right here, um, but it's in the wash. And I bought it in a 3T, but everything else I'm gonna show you is in a 4T because what I like to do is when we're changing seasons, I buy the next size up. So he's a 3T, but I everything I buy is a 4T. Same with spring. Um, when we go into spring, I buy fall and winter clothes and the next size up. So for the next year, I'm good. There's no surprises. And I've always done that because I find that kids grow super fast and it's a surprise when they grow and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have any clothes for him for the day because everything's too short. So I always like to have a couple of things for them. So first one is this cute little hat. He has a Paw Patrol hat he always wears and it was 14 bucks. So I thought, why not? He could always use another hat. This is super cute. It's a 4T. Yeah, it's just a plain striped t-shirt. I think it's so cute. He'll get lots of use out of it. This next one, it's a little, it's, my mom thought it was a little too much because of the print, but I like it because if he's in a crowd of kids, I can spot him from a mile away. This next one, there's just plain shorts. I think this was from the old Olympic collection from like the Summer Olympics, but that's okay. You know, I don't mind buying previous seasons because kids grow out of them so fast. And then finally, I got him another pair of shorts. Super cute. Finally, for me, I bought a sweater. It says polo all over it. It has a little polo guy. I bought a polo Ralph Lauren sweater last year. It was my main sweater I wore in the winter. I love it. It's super comfy. It fits well. And I had to get another one. So this was $89. Um, I don't know how much it was originally. 
but a lot of people might think it's a lot of money to buy, but you know what? I only buy one new Ralph Lauren sweater a year, so I think I'm okay. And they do last a while, so I'm not worried about it. It's all about treating yourself, right? Okay, this next one I'm going to pull from Coach. You know how I feel about Coach. Okay, so this next item is a pair of shoes. Now, I've been eyeing these shoes for about a year. Um, I never really pulled the plug on them because I have, I have really small feet. And the issue with that is in some shoe sizes, I'm a four, five, or a six. And I really just wanted to try them out. I wanted to see what it would look like um, when I wore them. So let me show you what I got. I already wore these to work. And they fit beautifully. So originally I was going to get a five and a half, but I ended up going with a five. I wore all day at work. I have a desk job. So when I went into the office, even though I work remotely, since I'm visiting, I went into the office and I was there all day. No blisters, no nothing. I could walk in them and they were amazing. And look, I got these loafers. I absolutely love them. They're super comfy. Um, let me show you the back. They are a little warning because like I said, I wore them to the office for one day. But I think these are stunning. So originally, I wanted the Gucci ones. Um, but the price tag is a little much. But I figured if I wear these to death and I really like them, I might just go ahead and, and splurge on the Gucci ones. I mean, and I like how here the the coach emblem isn't in your face. You know, it's one of those pieces where you know you know. And funny thing about me is when it comes to monograms, especially on like bags, like my Neverfull, my Pochette Matisse, I don't mind having the logo on there. But when it comes to ready to wear items, I don't want a t-shirt blasting the logo same with shoes. If it's small and it's subtle, I'm okay with it. But other than that, I don't buy like t-shirts or sweaters with the monogram all over it. That's why I like these because it's more like if you know, you know. If not, you would just think they're a basic shoe. And frankly, they are a basic shoe because they are so simplistic. So to go with my shoes today, I also got the leather moisturizer to go with my shoes because I do want to protect these and I do want to make sure, um, you know, these help with the life of my shoe. I also have the Cassie bag that I bought during the um, Nordstrom to Anniversary sale. I'll link it up in the cards. But I got that bag and I asked them and they said I could also use this on Pebble Leather. So I'm excited because I, even though I have my Pochette Matisse, I still really do plan on using my Cassie bag. Um, it's white and I think it's perfect for summer. So I, I figured that would be my summer bag, but I'm very excited that I got this moisturizer. If you have this and you've used it, please let me know um, how you like it, if it's damaged anything. Anything I need to know about it, please let me know. I think I will go and look at YouTube channels or something about how to apply it, but I'm excited. This next one um, is for my husband. His birthday is next week, and um, I wanted to get him a little something. Um, normally, I go, go all out, so he's, okay, so he's currently up at an old station because he hasn't officially gotten orders yet. Because, like I said in my last video, they revoked our orders and everything like that. So, we're just dealing with that situation. But, um, he's driving down because he's dropping off my dog. And um, he wants to avoid the weather and everything like that. So, for his birthday, I do plan on taking him out to dinner. I plan on getting a cake and balloons and doing the whole thing. But, I ended up getting him a new wallet. Now, he's not one for designer wallets. Like, he would go to, like, Walmart and, like, pick one out. Um, 
but I felt like this is a really good leather. I love Coach Leather. And I feel like the logo isn't in your face. It's not like you don't have the CCs all over it. And I really like it. So you have four card slots. You have one right here. And you have this coin pouch. Now, I feel like this count coin pouch is a really small. Um, I don't think you could fit a lot of cards in here. But if he does carry cash, he can carry, put cash in here. And then the cards can just go right here. What do you think? Do you think I should take this back or do you think I should keep it? I figure if he doesn't like it, I can use it. So there's that too. I think he'll like it. Um, it's really basic. Okay, I have one last um, outlet bag for you. And I'm excited. This is from... Michael Kors. Funny thing about Michael Kors is that when I graduated college in like 2012, um, my first designer bag was Michael Kors. It was like $300. And at the time, I was an intern not making a lot of money. So that was a huge splurge on me. But I used that bag to death. So um, when I went to the Louis Vuitton store about a year ago, um, my essay tried to get me um, to buy the Nice. It's like their cosmetic case. And um, I didn't buy it. And I'm kicking myself because at the time it was like $700. And now it went up to like $1,200. I'm kicking myself for not buying it. So I'm after I bought my Prichette Matisse, I was kind of thinking like, what's next on my wish list? And now I really want something that I can put on my bathroom um, in my bathroom on display and with the sizing I didn't know if I want the nano or if I want the mi the mini so what I ended up finding was this little guy so this is the jet set um, zip trunk and I like how it comes with the strap now I understand this is meant to be a purse but I'm using it as a makeup case because I like the idea that if I want to use it as a purse, I can, or if I just want to use it as a cosmetic case, I can, or if I need to carry my makeup around for some reason, I got the strap. Now, like I said before, this is the same size as the Nice Mini. So I'm thinking if I really like this one, I can get the Nice Mini, or if I feel like this isn't cutting it, I can just splurge and get the Nice BB from Louis Vuitton. But let me just show you the inside. I already have it packed with my makeup. And this was originally $398 and I got it for $80. Now it does not have the lining that's like waterproof, that's like water resistant or whatever, but I still like how I can use it. So. Back here, I have my primer, my Dior foundation, my Dior concealer, and then just other foundations. And then here, I got my powder, primer, and foundation back here. I got my Dior bronzer, Dior blushes. This is from Iconic. And then I just have some bronzer and my Rare Beauty blush right here. But as you can see, it does it does hold a lot, and I'm really happy that I could fit everything that I needed. I'm calling this my face cosmetic case because this is everything that just goes on my face, and I'm happy I can just keep it in one compartment. And I feel like with travel, that's important. I have a large box cosmetic case from Kate Spade. And I use that for all my skincare. So I'm happy I have this for all of my other makeup. Very excited. Next, my last item that I'm going to show you that I'm very excited about. So I bought some boots. I'm going to put this on my lap. No, I'm not going to open that one. Okay. 
Now, um, if you go back to my Nordstrom's anniversary sale, I got a Chelsea boot. I got some booties. I got some running shoes. Um, I was ba I'm basically redoing my shoe um, situation because moving from the cold negative 40 to wherever we go now, um, all of my shoes were really old and I ended up um, getting rid of a lot of them. So now that I have new shoes like Chelsea boots, booties, loafers, I got some mules. Now I just need like a high boot, a high ankle boot, not ankle, but like a high boot. And this is what I got. See, I love it. So you do have the MK monogram on the side, but what I like is that it's not full of logo and monogram and saying MK all over the shoe. I really like how it's subtle. And um, depending on what jeans I'm wearing, I'm thinking my jeans will cover this. But if it doesn't, I think it looks good. I don't think, I don't know. Do people really just sit and look at what pe shoes people are wearing? I don't really think they do. But I'm really excited because if I want to wear these with my faux leather leggings, I can. Or if I just want to wear regular leggings, I can. I absolutely love them. These are a size five and a half. No, sorry, they're a size six. Um, but that's okay. You know, they are a little big, but if I decide to wear um, thick socks, I feel like they're very forgiving. So I'm just putting this away real fast. But honestly, I'm really excited about everything I bought because I feel like this is stuff I'm going to use for a long time. And, you know, for the move, I got rid of a lot of my clothes. And I ended up buying a lot of clothes at the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. But I feel like some of these items um, will never go out of style, especially the basics, especially my hiking jeans, my hiking pants, especially since, you know, in my family, we're very outdoorsy. We go hiking, we go camping. I will get a lot of use out of these. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, please leave comments. Please subscribe. Um, if you have any stores you want me to go visit, if you have any bags you want me to check out, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.